Hello everyone, no respawns here. I hope you're doing well having a grand weekend. So we're back again with a bit of grounded and I wanted to build a really nice, a kind of quite RP friendly little river, well pond site, well puddle side base, because let's be honest, this isn't really a pond, it's technically a puddle. Um, I was playing with my friends uh, last night and we were trying to find a kind of ideal place to build up in uh, adventure mode um, that was secure from all of the the orid bugs, but also quite visually nice. And I found this area here, which is on the safe side of the map. So kind of just on this little nub in here, um, give you an idea. The first field station you meet, I think, is there. And it's like machines around here. Actually, I should have discovered the machine before I wandered straightly over. But at base, it's here. It's really nice. Um, this is really grand because um, there, for those who haven't played this very much, there are these weird grub things which just kind of appear out of nowhere. Well, they, they appear out of the ground and start ripping your base to pieces. And at least for the period that we were here, which was a good few hours, we didn't see any of them at all. Uh, literally the only bugs we saw in this area were gnats, which is actually pretty cool because we were able to cook them and eat them. Um, so I'm actually playing on creative mode right now. Uh, for those who don't know, there is a creative mode where basically you get to just explore the entire map without having to worry about any bugs whatsoever. And you can build anything without actually needing to have the resources on you. And you just start a new game, when you've got the difficulty, you just change that to the one at the bottom. It's a bit hidden, but it is pretty neat. Uh, so we're just gonna start on it. I'm gonna sort of build the base that we made yesterday, um, but a little bit bigger because it was a bit small. Um, it was quite fun though. I quite enjoyed this. So there we go there. Right, so I'm playing on PC and using an Xbox controller, FYI, if you're curious. So I really like the building. So one thing is, my video the other day, I showed um, a bit of the... Um, a bit of the, the kind of the main quest. And turns out that is actually, as of now, the entire story. However... Um, it's very obvious. Well, it is obvious because they're gonna do that um, But there will be some more story later down the line So currently right now story-wise the game is pretty barren. So realistically the only thing to keep you Particularly entertained um, Is the the crafting which be fair for me is absolutely grand But obviously for some people they'll want a little bit more than that. Um, it is quite fun I can see it getting a bit boring if you're just It, de it really depends on how many updates they give you, but I was quite enjoying it we played for a good few hours last night, which was grand. It's one of those games that you're just going to kind of pop back in and whenever they do an update and kind of see all the new things that they've added. The building, one thing about this in typical Obsidian fashion, uh, they've done everything really, really well on this. Like, it's, it's what's in the game right now is incredibly well designed. Which I really, really like. Um, you may notice that I'm swimming. So that, as far as I can tell, there isn't a, a creative mode like you get in something like Minecraft, where you can kind of float around and and do all that nonsense. Might add it, I don't know. But as of right now, uh, you do have to uh, have a little bit of a a session in the water. Right. So, um, I've been playing around with the requirements in terms of like where you can place certain things. So, because obviously technically all of these foundations are floating, um, it does mean that if I were to say replace, I think the ones at the front, it would make all the others behind it collapse. So bear that in mind. Obviously, if you were just placing this on flat ground, you wouldn't really have any issue. But just as a wee FYI. So I liked the idea of a river base because it, finding kind of completely flat ground is, is obviously a bit of a bull lake. A lot of people like their, you know, their floating bases and everything like that. But uh, those of you who know me in the channel know that um, ain't none of that shit is happening in this house. None of those floating basins. Every, basins? Bases. Everything has to look like it works. Otherwise I get mad. Um, it will be nice when they give the ability to like foundations to... Because obviously foundations do sink in the ground. But in the water here... I can't place foundations under the ones I have, which is a bit of a bull lake. For those playing adventure mode, the only... Oh, it's getting dark. Um, the only issue with this area a little bit is that you do have to wander a little bit for the stems. So you have these... Oh, well, obviously you can unlock better axes, but for the start one you can kind of cut down dandelions, which is what these little uh, wood things are. Well, they're not wood, obviously, they're stems. 
and to get them, you do have to kind of go all the way over there. There are some over there as well, um, right next to some of those bombardier bugs, which is a, an absolute bull lake. Yeah, I just wanted to show off the crafting. Plus, I like the fact they've added a creative mode here, because it means that if you just want to, I guess, plan a base idea without the added stress of starving or being murdered by wolf spiders or whatever, um, you can kind of build a base in creative, get an idea of what you like, and then you can replicate it in adventure mode. Um, I'll keep building until it gets dark. Let's have um, a little bit of a... Okay, where's the central one? So we've got one, two, three, four, five... So you have it three by three. Yeah. See, look, one thing is obviously that's why I was in the water before, because looking at it from the ground is a bit of a bit of a hit and miss. I'm really curious what they add. We were talking last night and it would be very cool. Um, I'm obviously hoping they expand the biomes in this quite a lot. Because that would be incredibly neat. I've got the leaves on first time. I'm gonna fall in. No, oh, that's gonna annoy the hell out of me. Um, it will be cool if they add um, new biomes and things like that. But it will be interesting to see what they add. Inside the houses, for example, um, that could be pretty neat. There we go. Oh, look at it going crazy there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, there isn't much in the way of glitching. For those of you familiar with, you know, obviously Fallout building, especially um, Fallout 4's building, which is obviously the, uh, the kind of the main thing uh, from when I first started the channel. Um, they do have obviously lots of glitches. This doesn't have as many as far as I can tell. Um, which is good, but also means that, you know, there are some shenanigans you can't do. Um, it builds in a lot of ways similar to, I mean, the game I always come back to just because it's the one I played a lot of, um, which is uh, Conan Exiles, where it's got, you know, kind of quite modular elements to it. God damn it. Oh. Wait, it just goes around like that. Look at that. Can't, there we go. Can I get in without having to get in there, you gorgeous. Which I really, really like because you can make quite structurally interesting structures. It's a good framework. Obsidian have clearly done all this quite well. Right, I'm going to rest up. Because when I started this video, it took me a while to actually get to this area and then I obviously had to play around with the building a little bit. Right, so let's build a lean-to, and then we'll rest in the morning. Actually, I think I might have to wait until a little bit. Where's more lean-to? We'll pop you there. It'll be cool when they add a few more bits of furniture. Can I sleep? So I've got several hours until I can sleep. All right, well, we'll do the walls then, won't I? Um, actually, let's put some um, decor down so I can see. So we'll put one here. It's hilarious building these when it took me ages to find all the sap to make my sconces in the, in the adventure game last night. So um, because we needed to go across this pond, this puddle, uh, to get to the dandelion so I can make more of the scaffolding, it meant that um, we ended up building a giant bridge to go across, um, which was took ages. And I just, me being me was like, I'm going to light it up, guys, so we can see our way at night. And um, it took ages to find all the goddamn sap. Um, right, okay, so let's do some walls. Okay. Um, I will say that maybe the build menu needs a bit more, um, uh, fiddling with. So this is on Xbox, so I'm using Xbox controller, but you can, uh, I think it's the, yeah, uh, you can build up menus like these. There we go. So you can do that on PC by pressing B, which is admittedly quite cool, but on Xbox, as far as I can tell, I don't think there is a way to do that. Um, let's use the sturdy stuff, because I think it looks nice. Wait, is that a door or two? I'll study more. What did I think that said door? Idiot. Idiot. We'll have this as separate rooms, by the way. Spoiler. 
It's quite a satisfying building, this. Obviously, you're going to see absolutely ridiculously complex structures at some point. Um, I'm making something quite homely for several people. That's my... That's the build I'm going for here. It was three of us playing last night, and I wanted to make something which was basically what we made, but a little bit bigger. Oh, there's another one that's over there. I like the fact that it actually has the arrows, so you know when the exterior is. That, that right there is actual forethought, which I approve of. Bases look gorgeous um, at night as well. I will, um, oh, that one's not right around. I guess it doesn't really matter to be honest, because they seem to be. But yeah, like, I'm um, walking up to this at night, it just looks so pretty. Obviously the one we made, if you got my Twitter, um, you can see it. It's a smaller version of what I'm doing now. Like, this is going to have an upstairs, for example. It's quite a nice building, not having to worry about bugs as well. I said, when we were building here last night, there weren't actually any spiders in this area. But you don't have to really walk very far. Um, right, so what we're going to do now... Let me just have a look from the outside so you can see. Oh. So it looks... It, I, I think this is one of the reasons why I like um, this kind of water camp is the fact that it, it does suit the building style. It, you know, it feels like just some kind of tropical cabin or something that you would find um, in a, a similar-ish kind of place. It's very cool. Right, it's the wrong one. Where's the roof? There it is. Ooh, get back there, you shit. Gonna have a little bit of a. Oh, can I not? Oh, that's annoying. There are a couple of building bugs that we noticed last time, actually. Okay, that's not too bad, alright. So for the angle bits, you do need to use these, if I remember correctly. Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, that's not too bad. I was about to get all salty. Um, one thing uh, we noticed earlier. And that's something that is missing from the building elements a bit. Is um, you can't connect straight floors to angled floors. So you have to kind of do this whole triangle, triangle, triangle thing. Um, which was a little bit admittedly annoying. Okay. Should be late enough for me to start. Oh, is that going to gap? That better not be a gap. I'm going to get all salty. You wouldn't like me when I'm salty. We'll see. I'm obviously making something this big. Might be a little bit impractical in the actual adventure mode. But, you know, you can have a... Ooh. What's this? I'll uh, leave that one there. I think I might have found a little bit of a... A little bit of a nonsense part. We'll see about that in a sec. Maybe it's thing. Are we? Can I sleep now? Hmm. Yeah, we go. I think it's bedtime. Have a nap, PD. Right. Okay. So let's see about this roof here. Is it just getting confused? Or is it just that I've got like a? Oh, that's not very good, is it? Right. What I'll do is I'll put the ceiling in. Worst case scenario, we can um. We can... Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's having a bit of a, a session there as well. Oh, which way is the roof facing? Let's get the stairs in. I'm curious now. Now, this sh might fall down in a sec. I'm not too sure. I think it should be fine. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, I am going to take out one of these floors in a sec to get, obviously, the stairs in. But it gives us a... Giz a bit. Right, so if I tear down my bed for a sec. Because I probably want the stairs over here. Yeah. So I want it like that. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Don't mind me. Don't. God damn it. That is one thing it does do. You'll go to play something and then you'll like your camera will just slightly move back and it'll be like, nah, you're going there now. I'm like, but why though? I don't want to go there now. <laughs> I want to go here. Right, there we go. Perfect.
it might be easier to do the uh, this part from up here to be honest we will see we will see yeah so I might actually have to lose I'm have to do this with the floors actually no I should be one second Oh, I see. I've put the... F that's why that's not working, because I put the thing in wrong. Ah, and that one there. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm less annoyed now. It's it's basically all my dumb, dumb ass fault. Uh, basically. <laughs> Effectively, I've gone and screwed up a bit, didn't I? Obviously. I suspected it might be that. There we go. Gorgeous. Right, down we go. There we go, and I bet I've done over there as well, haven't I? Um, that do? Or does that look a bit weird? Uh, can... Let's go upstairs. This might take me a bit to figure out what I've done wrong. So it's this part here. Silly, haven't I? Yay fun, yay fun, fun. I think it's going to need to do these ones first. And then... That one's done. I think I've just screwed up something that's not meant to be there. I think what I've done is I've not placed them in the exact right position, which is causing them to go all stupid. I think that's basically what I've done. I have, that was exactly it. Um, it's quite interesting, that. Um, it's quite... Because it means that it's not fit in, like exactly the same position so you can get into situations like that um, where you can obviously accidentally place things in the wrong part but it also means we have ultimately way more customization options which is quite neat I like that Ooh. ah that's because you want your opponent in here don't you yes you do Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's what I mean about actually in placing things. God damn it. That's <laughs> right. Like, we're going to have like a little bit of like a, a tower area. Obviously, building this in adventure mode would take you so long. <laughs> I'm already looking at all of these stems we'd need. You'd basically deforest this. Like, we'd already deforest that entire area there Um, by the time we finished. And we'd started doing some of those over there. <laughs> Uh, but it is good fun, so it's alright. Right. Yeah, okay, cool. Right, so that is our kind of one floor building done. Looking quite cool. Right, okay. Obviously, like, what I like about this, like, right now I'm doing quite, like, a, a simple structure in a lot of ways. Um... But because of this modular nature, if you've ever, like, gone on the, like, a Conan Exile subreddit, just these pieces alone, you can do so much with. Um, one thing I would really like is for them to add, kind of, chest-high walls. Uh, the reason being is then you can have, kind of, like, castle buttresses and things like that. But for now, obviously, we're gonna go for probably some palisades. Um, we'll make do is we'll have a little bit of a palisade bit here. And the palisade walls. Oh yeah, palisade stem walls. Yeah. A bit of a session here, I see. Wrong way. Doesn't really matter, but you know, obsessive and all that jazz. 
So I'll probably, uh, you'll probably see me periodically do videos on this. Things getting progressively more complex, which will be good fun. I won't have a palisade. Oh, the stem will not the palisade wall. Yeah. So I'm making something pretty simple, let's be honest, right now. But I wanted to have just... I, wanted, I guess I wanted to make what I made yesterday and be like, oh, but without all the nonsense of um, having to get... Basically, to get some of the stems, I had to race past a few spiders. To be fair, um, this is still arguably, I think, the best location they've got so far. But um, it will involve some practice about getting the stems. The stems are the only issue. Everything else is pretty easy to get. One thing I'd like as well, and I don't think they have it, is like a, a roof piece for just like one square, like a point, because that would look quite nice if it had a cap. Um, as it stands right now, it's just going to have a floor. Yeah, see, some chest-high walls would be nice, so you can kind of just have walls but peek over the top. Unless they're hidden in there and I haven't seen them. No. it's not a way to adjust their height. Nah, okay, cool. Right, let's have a look-see from the outside. Yeah, see, it's a bit cosy. It's a bit of obviously a blocky structure, but I'm just trying to play around and see what I can do. It's a bit bigger than uh, I really should have. Let's do some interior rooms now, shall we? So this is where it was gonna go originally. You can fuck right off. Oop. And you. Very nice. And that one. Depth perception fail there, Davey. Depth perception fail, young man. Um... They have thought ahead, as you can see. You've got pretty much, of the pieces that they have, you can actually build... You can. There's no bits that are broken, as far as I can tell, which is quite nice. Uh, so let me just show you some of the actual other bits that you get. So you get the... Um... Oh, actually, I'll put them where we had them yesterday. That was quite nice. Uh, if we have them. So on the exterior, we had some details to kind of add a little bit more. Uh. Oh, for fuck's sake. See, that one went in the ground. I guess you could probably snap them into the ground a bit and then snap them on, but it would involve using absolutely shit tons of stems. Okay, and then that wrong way. Yeah, I think this menu could do with a bit more of an optimizing, uh, especially on the Xbox, because it involves a lot of, as you've already seen, a lot of scrolling around. All right, let's get the dew collector. That's fine. Uh, that's pretty decent. A bit hard to get though, well, I mean, initially hard to get, because obviously you have to deal with, um, for fuck's sake, every time I try and build something, I press goddamn A. Because uh, you have to deal with spideys. Will that cause a... That's weird. Ah, can't have that clicking. I think I'll make it somewhere else. There we go. Have it 
well centered. Some doorway doesn't get in the way. Cool. Very, very nice. Right, let's do some bits and pieces on the inside. Uh -huh. So you've got quite a bit you can get. Um, I think they do need to add um, more in the way of stuff because right now it is everything sort of has a function. There obviously there are. Um, oh wow, there actually there are loads of new stuff I didn't get in the other. Oh okay, I'm completely lying. They actually have some more bits I didn't realize. We didn't unlock everything, lads. Um, I'll have to have a chat with mates about that one. A log pallet. Oh, that would have been incredibly handy last night. I'm going to find out what we need to research this. That'll be handy. Sap collector would be great, except there's the, the another little slight issue. There's nothing that produces sap completely close to here unless I've missed it completely. Okay, let's put um trail marker just because technically you would want to remember where this is. There we go. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to get that thing, aren't I? Because it'll annoy me otherwise. Oh, and it uses a shovel, doesn't it? I always forget it uses a shovel. There we go. Thank you, dear. Take your time. Just, just take your time, mate. There we go. Let's just get rid of that just so it's out of the way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm just going to show you all of the stuff you can build now. Um, a jerky collector. This stops your food going off, which is admittedly quite handy. Because it does go off quite quickly. A smoothie station, get in. Let's have a little bit of a kitchen in here, shall we? And bit. Uh -huh. The basket. Oh, the basketball hoop is quite big. I don't know. I mean, I guess you can throw rocks at it. We'll just have a basketball hoop here. Let's make it look like you're dunking into the into the bucket. Lovely. <laughs> um, let's see what else we've got. Some of these, some of the, a few of these bits I don't actually have, which is quite nice. Or we didn't have yesterday. We had most of them after a couple of hours. Um, there are traps as well. These can apparently hurt you. So initially I was going to put them here, but then obviously you're going to hurt stuff. So it's more about um. Yeah. Um, oh, berry chair looks. Oh, that looks nice. Ooh, we didn't get those, guys. Look at that. That is big and cosy. Uh, so you can make uh, leather out of berries, which is quite cool. Wow, there's so many of these stuff I haven't got, actually. You can, they, they've got quite a bit, so let's um, put some armor stuff around. Let's make it look like there are people peeking out. I do have the face in this way. Let's get some of the armors out. Um, oh, you can use a thing. The ant stuff's arguably the coolest looking. Cool, let's see, because I didn't actually get a chance to use these yesterday. Ah, oh, so they just work like a thing, okay. Very cool. And the ant stuff, which is ant samurai armor, which I mean, I mean, I mean, that's, amen that's amazing. It has a very um, uh, Lost Boys hook vibe with this game, which I really, really like. Oh, let's just put a few soldier heads around. Infected weevil head. Cheap and cheerful. Okay. Wow. Oh, wolf spider head. Oh, how big is that? Oh, that's not very big at all. <laughs> well, I was playing yesterday. Um, I had decided to quickly fill, fill, uh, fill my glass up with Coke. Because I've got a Coke Zero glass. 
um, while I'm waiting for mates. So we were going to gather some resources. And as I was doing that, a wolf spider, and I leant over to pick up the bottle, a wolf spider appeared and I screamed and knocked over my glass. And while I was trying to grab for my glass, um, oh god, severed had him. <laughs> Uh, well, I was trying to grab the glass, the wolf spider, it was it was a whole thing, I screamed, everyone laughed at me. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was a fun day. Um, and let's just put some wolf sconces on, and then we're going to just call it there, because I just wanted to dick around with some of the bits. Oh. I haven't seen these before. Oh, they're pretty... Oh, very nice, very nice. So as you can see already, like, realistically for a base this big, arguably you probably want to have more bits um, to decorate it. The one we had was about the center area. It didn't have all of this exterior, and it absolutely didn't have um, any of the extra bits that I've added on just for, you know, the bants to throw them up. Right, I'm going to give a quick run around, and then what we'll do is we will... Okay, let me have a look-see. Let me put in third-person view as well. Okie dokie. So, as you can see right there, you can have quite a satisfying little base. Obviously, this is structurally quite blocky. I just wanted to make it kind of something quite simple and just play around with the different angles. Um, but it looks quite satisfying already, even with, you know, it's slightly blocky shape. Um, and it's quite minimal decoration. Um, it looks quite nice. I do like the extra little bits. I said, if you were so inclined, you could just fill this up with, you know, um, loads and loads of decorations. Obviously, that would have taken ages, and I ain't nobody got time for that. Conveniently enough, we're getting a bit close to night time, so what I might do is quickly just pause recording, wait for it a bit dark, and show you. So let me do that one mo, and here we are. So I did a little bit more decoration, not very much, admittedly. Um, but just a wee bit while I was waiting it to get dark. It is very cosy though. It's probably a bit big, which arguably is, is, is something I shouldn't have really done, but I just kind of wanted to play around with a much larger base. Normally, when you have limited decoration, it's significantly better to just make something like smaller and more compact, because arguably it does look a bit better. Um, but I wanted to have a play around. It's got a nice vibe to it. Like the... <laughs> It does feel like you're just on a swamp in the middle of nowhere. It's 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 just it's just grand. I love it so much. Like the atmosphere on this game is just, and I love the blur effects. Um, it's so cool. So yeah, I hope you guys like that. Gave you a little bit of ideas of how the building function works in this game. Um, I will be playing it, playing around with it quite a bit in the future. Probably, arguably, when they've maybe done an update or two. I'm curious how regular. The updates get on this, so this will probably be something I just revisit now and then. Oh look, my water things. My dew collectors um, filling up, which is very, very nice. Um, so yeah, if you want to play around the building, you can obviously um, jump on creative mode, which I think is a really nice thing, because you can kind of basically plan out where you want your base, design it, and then you can jump in adventure mode with your mates um, or by yourself and just then kind of rebuild it with the, you know, added threat of scary bugs and, and non-scary bugs and absolutely terrifying bugs. Um, but yeah, overall, pretty pleased with this and we'll definitely be revisiting it in the future. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. We'll have more videos up soon. Uh, as mentioned before, I will be getting my new PC in a couple of weeks. Uh, so expect streams. Expect streams of this, actually. Oh, my mushrooms are popping up as well. Um, expect streams of this with, with me and my friends. Until that point, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. You take care.